Welcome to WWP Reacts Biology Overview Series. This is a full semester biology class online just for you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a retired high school and post-secondary educator of biology and chemistry in New Hampshire and Kansas. I taught post-secondary education as an adjunct professor in the 1990s at places such as New England College and New Hampshire Technical College Nursing Program. I also was a paid tutor to the University of Kansas Biology Department early on in my career. While there I had the honor to teach in the University of Kansas Gifted Youngster Summer Program at their Museum of Natural History. I do private tutoring now in my free time and am doing online tutoring as well if you are interested. Or please just ask me any questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer. In this presentation, we'll explore different types of cells as seen under the microscope. We'll look at examples from both plants and animals as well as several types of bacteria. Pay close attention to differences in structure, shape, and arrangement, as these features help us identify each cell type. Typically, in a biology class, you would look at and draw, or in today's world, use computer-aided software to draw and label and identify the function of each organelle. I still remember my days in college drawing all these for various classes and labeling everything. It taught me a lot more than just watching and listening. You a called easily replicate this experience by purchasing something like this from Amazon HTTPS slash ADU 60 Cur VA. Happy learning! Here we see onion epidermal cells, a classic example of plant cells. Notice the clear rectangular shape of each cell. This is due to the rigid cell wall. Inside, depending on the stain used, you may also see the nucleus and the large central vacuole. Onion cells do not contain chloroplasts because onions grow underground, away from sunlight. Here is a slide kit that can help you learn with a microscope at home or school. HTTP test 4 has war some wuds and solars. HTTP DS 49Y. This is Elodea, a freshwater aquatic plant viewed at 100 times magnification without iodine stain. Even at this magnification, you can see the green color caused by chloroplasts. These organelles carry out photosynthesis. The cells appear brick-like and are arranged in a very regular pattern typical of plant tissue. You can buy Elodea at any pet store that has fish and fish tank accessories. When I was a teacher, I would buy fresh Elodea from the local pet store to use for my labs. Of course, you can just go on Amazon and buy more than you would need for six bucks. Check the manios.clqw. At 430 times magnification, the Elodea cells become much clearer. You can see individual chloroplasts more distinctly. In a live sample, these chloroplasts often move around the inside of the cell in a process called cytoplasmic streaming. The cell walls remain visible, outlining each plant cell in a grid-like structure. Again, use the same Elodea here with your microscope on the 430X setting to see this level of detail. These are human cheek cells, an example of animal epithelial cells. Unlike plant cells, there is no cell wall, so the cells appear rounded and irregular in shape. The nucleus is usually visible, especially when stained. Cheek cells are easy to obtain and are commonly used to demonstrate the features of animal cells. This is a fun activity to do with your new microscope. Gently take a toothpick and swap the inside of your cheek, then place the cells on a drop of saline on a clean blank glass slide and look trough it on low and high power. Draw what you see and label the organelles you see. Here we have red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells are small, disc-shaped, and lack a nucleus. They are optimized for carrying oxygen. White blood cells are larger, contain nuclei, and may appear irregular or granular. Their job is to defend the body against infections. The contrast between these two types highlights the specialization of human cells. You can purchase some prepared red and white blood cell slides very inexpensively here. Pa slash ace my howard dot co slash one dot white blood slash break expensively. HEP slash a dot pono four dash acabd nine. I will be doing a future course on white blood cells and what they say about our health in the future. Stay tuned. These bacteria are called kochi, which means they are spherical or round in shape. Kochi may appear singly, in pairs, in chains, or in clusters depending on the species. Because bacteria are prokaryotes, they do not contain a nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. At 400x magnification, they appear as tiny dots or circles. These bacteria are known as bacilli, or rod-shaped bacteria. Their elongated shape makes them easy to distinguish from kochi. Bacilli may occur alone or in chains. Their simple structure and shape are typical of prokaryotic cells, which are much smaller and simpler than plant or animal cells. Finally, we have spirillum, which are spiral-shaped bacteria. Their twisted or corkscrew appearance is distinct and sets them apart from kochi and bacilli. Spirillum bacteria often move using flagella and are less common than the other two shapes but important to recognize. This is an excellent slide set, 
and I will be using it in a future lesson just on all the types of bacteria and what they do. ITPS-PA.CRMASCA This completes our quick beginner study of cell types and structure as well as looking at actual slides of each. Next, we will be looking at the importance of cell membrane structure and function. Please like, share, and comment on any questions you have. Also, if there are other things you would like to learn, I would love to develop that course for you.